The last time fans saw Mike Bercovici in an ASU football uniform was the team's 2015 loss to Cal. Now, after a year away from football, Bercovici is making a second attempt to grab a roster spot with the Los Angeles Chargers. I studied the playbook and the plays that I knew and some of the workouts that I, that I went to. It g gave me a lot of confidence coming back here. Even after his first cut from the Chargers, Bercovici had no doubt that he would see a professional training camp again. The day he got released to the day they called back, he never lost faith. He continued to work because he knew he'd get a call back at some, at some point. Didn't know when, but at some point he would. During his year away from the league, Berkovici started to prepare for life without football and improve his skills in a different field. He was doing, being mentored by some uh, commercial real estate um, folks out in Arizona, which he really enjoyed. Um, he was learning that side of the, of the business because at one point you got to you got to go to the real world and, and you're not playing games anymore. It was in January when Mike was offered a second chance to make the Chargers team. But this summer, he still faces the obstacle of making the final 53-man squad. It was the phone call I was waiting for. Uh, it was late in the last week of the season and the immediate reaction was like, this is the opportunity I want. Last year, the Chargers retained only two quarterbacks, longtime starter Phillip Rivers and former Oregon standout Kellen Clemens. But Berkovici enters this season confident he can make the team. Those guys have been here double digit seasons in the NFL and I'd really admire that. But you know in year two I want to be at that same level, the same command and, and I think that guys respect that. In Los Angeles, Devin Gooden, Cronkite News.